is facing a squeeze as part of Arizona's budget shortfall. And tonight, the independent state authority in charge of water infrastructure and investments is criticizing Governor Hobbs' budget proposal when it comes to water. Here's Rachel Louise Just with ABC 15's political team. But we just haven't been getting as much rain and snowpack that we'd like to see. And so now it's down to about 328,000 acre feet, which is, you know, about a third full. Five generations of Kwoods have farmed this land in Casa Grande. They farmed through periods of easy water access and now so called mega droughts. We're trying to hang in there and not sell out. But this is our only source of water. Now this is a canal where there are going to be points in the year where you may not see water running through it. But at this point in the year, in January, you're expecting to see water. And the Kwoods say they're expecting now that they may not have any water running through here for the next seven weeks during a key time for growing. Without water infrastructure funding, some rural communities are losing their water to the land itself. Without concrete lined canals, and only half of the canals in the Kwoods area are lined, about two thirds of the water is being lost before it even gets to them. About a third of it is going to go down and about a third of it up in the air. The Water Infrastructure Finance Authority of Arizona was promised $1 billion in fiscal year 2023 to keep up the state's water access. Of course. To discuss Arizona's future, we must also talk about water. This year, Governor Katie Hobbs is promising $33 million towards that billion dollar investment, only 10% of what was expected this year. Money is not unlimited, and we're learning that very quickly in this fiscal year. Hobbs's proposal is just that. She'll have to work with the legislature on a final budget, and Arizona's water future is among the big items at stake. What is going to happen is that in 5, 10, and 15 years from now, we're really going to wish we had made investments. 50 15 years ago to bring additional water into the state. For now, farmers like the Kwoods are looking to the heavens for help. We just have to hope these storms come in. In Pinal County, Rachel Louise Just, ABC 15, Arizona.